Sierra Brooke Burton was born on December 17, 1993. An energetic and rambunctious child who quickly found an outlet in school sports. Sierra loved many activities, however, she really excelled in high school basketball. A Northeastern night wearing number 22, Sierra would join the varsity team her freshman year and she would go on to overcome two torn ACL injuries. She would graduate in 2012. As Sierra found her place in athletics, she began to dream of a career in law enforcement. As she took her very first steps into policing, she immediately met someone who would not only be her guide and mentor in policing, but also her stepmother, Richmond Police Sergeant Amy Miller. In August of 2018, at only 24, she would officially become Officer Sierra Burton when she was sworn in to the Richmond Police Department. On that day, she took an oath that includes an affirmation to uphold her duties without fear as an officer of the Richmond Police Department. Her family at her side, supporting her in her dream and impressed with her unwavering strength and courage. She was young, uh, there's vibrant, and you know, she came in and she was just so happy and uh, her eagerness and her ambition to, to be a police officer. Um, I'll never forget it because I, I feel that <clears throat> this career is a calling. Um, and when I first talked to her and she had so many questions and she was just so eager and um, so boisterous to ask all these questions, I, I knew right then she, she had to call me. Um, but my first impressions were that ambition and that, that eagerness to do this. It, it put, a, it put a, a light in me to remember why, why I took this career, why I, why I wanted to do this. And this is, she reminded me of how I felt um, when, I first, when I first started. I mean, it was, it was amazing to see. As was always the case for Sierra, just becoming a police officer wasn't enough. She wanted to excel in her career and take on new challenges. She applied for a position as a canine officer and after extensive training at the renowned Von Lick Kennels, she would be assigned Brev, her new canine partner. With Brev, she really began to shine. Not only was Sierra now the first female canine officer in the history of the Richmond Police Department, Having Brev offered her the opportunity to connect with the community in a way only she could do. She was visiting schools, Safety Village, and interacting with people of all ages and walks of life. Canine officer Sierra Burton found her place in policing and was working every day to make a positive impact on the lives of those she served. It meant a lot to Sierra to become the first um, female canine officer. She was. She was driven um, right off the bat. I mean, we spent a lot of time together. She, uh, she came to third shift and we worked together a lot and we both talked about it. She, uh, she said, I'm gonna be the first one. Without a doubt in her mind, she said that she was gonna be the first one. Um, and when she sets her mind to something, she does it. Stella, Brad, Stella. Good boy, Brad. Good boy, Brad. She said it was really important to her just because it, it, it sets a tone not just for her, but um, for everybody around her to really push themselves and put themselves out of a comfort zone. So um, she wanted to establish that and really kind of push her, not only herself, but the people around her. And it, it really meant a lot for her to be able to do that. Sierra was an avid weightlifter. At only 5'4", many would say she was pound for pound the strongest person in the entire police department. Sierra always wanted to be strong. She wanted to test herself, show people how strong she was and how strong they could be. While Sierra was working, she met a firefighter from Ohio. The two talked and agreed to a first date at Kings Island. Sierra's friends joked that maybe a first date at an amusement park on a hot day for hours might not be the best idea. As it turned out, Sierra would remember it as one of the best days of her life because that's when she met her soulmate, Sierra Neal. After that, the two Sierras would become inseparable. They moved in together and started planning for their future, even setting a wedding date. On August 10th, 
just nine days before their planned wedding, during a routine traffic stop, Sierra Burton was critically injured. She would be flown to Miami Valley Hospital where she would remain unconscious in critical condition for several days. During her stay at Miami Valley, Sierra Neal and Sierra Burton's family made a brave decision. Both women had marked their wedding day on the calendar and they decided no force was great enough to deter them from their plans to unite in love. On August 19th, Sierra Burton and Sierra Neal were united in a special ceremony in Officer Burton's hospital room. After a remarkable 39-day battle, canine officer Sierra Burton passed away with her family by her side. Sierra had shown everyone just how strong she really was, and further, she'd kept the promise she made to the people of Richmond. She had served without fear, fought a courageous battle, and paid an ultimate sacrifice to uphold her oath, the hallmarks of a true hero. She has gone home now for the final time. K-9, Officer Sierra Burton, K-9-2 of the Richmond Police Department. It's 10:42. Canine officer Sierra Burton was offered a final resting place in Crown Hill Cemetery in Indianapolis, near the Heroes of Public Safety Memorial, and is surrounded by heroes of public safety who were killed in the line of duty. The sacrifice that, that Sierra made um, to see how it brought a community together, um, how it brought our, our department um, to realize that you know, her sacrifice opened a lot of eyes and um, that this, this incident in and, and her, she will never be forgotten, ever. Throughout Officer Burton's battle, she united the community in a way many had never seen. Pictures of Sierra lined not only the streets of Richmond, but cities and towns across Indiana. Cards, prayers, and words of support addressed to the family of Officer Burton poured in from around the country. Canine Officer Sierra Burton leaves behind a legacy of service and sacrifice. Her smile, infectious personality, and endearing spirit will live within the halls of the Richmond Police Department and throughout the Richmond community for many years to come. There are many that ask today, how do we continue to honor Officer Burton? Her mother will give you the best answer. Be strong, be kind, serve your community, stay united, and support your local first responders, because that's what Sierra would do. The city of Richmond thanks K-9 officer Sierra Burton for her unwavering commitment to her duties, her sacrifice, and the positive legacy she leaves behind. She was like your immediate friend. She was so happy just to be there with you. She just made everything better every time she came in a room. It was like, it just instantly made the room energy better. Everybody was having a good time. And, and whenever she showed up on a call, I was like, good, see her, see her. Now things are gonna go great. It meant the world to her. Um, she just, she, she, she loved it. I, 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 don't, I don't know any other way to, to put it. You know, it was her dream job, and it meant a lot to her. You know, Sierra was, <clears throat> Sierra was and will always be my hero.